Hello. It's really good to see you today. Um, I went to Aldi this afternoon again, and I bought quite a bit more than I normally do because I have, um, I wanted to get a few items. They're doing a food drive at work for a local uh, nonprofit organization. And I wanted to be able to take in some things that they had on the list, um, different food items that they were looking for. So some of this stuff is for us, but some of it is for the food drive. And I'll, I'll show you some of the things that I got there. Um, of course, like always, the refrigerated items had to go in the refrigerator. So, um, but the rest of this is, is um, just non-refrigerated stuff. So um, I will show you the things that are for the food drive as I go along. Now this one is for us. And again, just like every week, I mean, a lot of, a lot of the things I buy are the same pretty much every week. I bought some of the Love and Fresh Classic White Bread, and it works great for sandwiches or toast or things like that. Um, this is a, doo -doo -doo, a 20 ounce loaf of bread, all sliced, all pretty. And um, this was 85 cents, which I still think is one of the best deals at Aldi because it's actually very good. I've tried, I've tried several different types of their bread, like they have um, they have multigrain, whole wheat, honey wheat. They have all these different types, and they're all really good, and they're all really inexpensive too. Um, but this one, primarily when I buy bread, I just buy it for my kids to make sandwiches, or if I want to make garlic toast one night, or I make cheese toast, um, grilled cheese, things like that. Um, I like to use this kind because it just works for so many different things. So this was the first thing I got. And then along those same lines, I got, this time I got a pack of hot dog buns as well. Because I asked the boys if there was something in particular they wanted for dinner one night. And they asked if we could have hot dogs and french fries. So I already had french fries. So I got some hot dog buns. And I got some of the um, the all beef hot dogs that they have at Walmart. Um, it's the Walmart brand, and they're actually really good. And um, they're kind of like they're kind of like um, Nathan's hot dogs, kind of. Um, or what is it? There's another one, uh, the Hebrew National. I really love those. It's kind of similar to the Hebrew National hot dogs, but they're they're cheaper than the, the, because even at Walmart. The Hebrew National hot dogs are five or six dollars. I mean, it's it's a bit much, but the Walmart brand ones are are, are pretty good. So um, I know that the hot dog buns at Aldi are less expensive and better than the uh, generic the house brand hot dog buns at Walmart. So I went to Walmart first, and then I went to Aldi and got my hot dog buns there. And you get eight, of course. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight hot dog buns. And I think they were a dollar nine, a dollar nine cents, I think. And they're, they're really good. Um, okay. I have, I'm surrounded by stuff. I have, I have so much stuff. It's, it's literally blocking the sun coming in the window. This one's noisy, so we're going to do it next. My younger son loves these things so much. And this is also, this is another wonderful deal at Aldi. These are Clancy's, which is one of the Walmart brands. They make all kinds of chips and crackers and things like that. This, uh, these are the Big Dippers, and they're really good. Um, you see, they're they're kind of shaped like a little bowl, so it's good for dip. Obviously, that's why they call them Big Dippers. And a bag of these, and this is a 10-ounce bag, and there's a lot in here. I mean, you can see... That's a good size bag. I think they were $1.39. I mean, that's that's just unbelievably wonderful. And we eat these a lot. Um, every now and then I'll make uh, beefy nachos where you just make some, you cook some ground beef and add the taco seasoning to it. And then a little bit of shredded cheese and some lettuce to it. You kind of mix it up and then you dip. You use these to dip it with and eat it. It's very simple. It's very good. Um, so I might actually do that one night because I also got some ground beef when I was at Aldi. It's in the refrigerator. But um, 
their their ground beef is really good. I mean, I really like it, and it's a lot cheaper than any other store, at least in my area. And this is a little noisy too. Look at these grapes. I want to show you with how big these grapes are. Um, these are just green seedless grapes. They had these on sale. I think they were 79 cents a pound. Used to, they sold them by the bag, but a lot of their produce they've started selling by the pound, which is fine because it's still, I mean, 79 cents a pound for seedless grapes beats any store around here by far. And these grapes are huge. I want to show you how big these grapes are. I'm a big one. Look at the size of that grape. There, it's like an eyeball. Look how big that is. And there's some in here bigger than that. Look at these grapes. They're huge. And I will admit, I already ate some. They're delicious. I'm looking forward to that. So I did get grapes. I was going to get grapes last week, um, but somehow I managed to walk right past them and forget. I want to reach one more thing right here. Now this is another item I get all the time. These big, beautiful strawberries. I have noticed, um, see normally I would get a package of strawberries and a package of blueberries, but I've noticed that the blueberry price has started to creep up. Like this time they were $3.39 for the, I think it's a pint of blueberries. Which isn't terrible, but I've been paying, you know, $1.79, $1.99 all summer. So it's kind of hard to go from that to $3.39. I start looking at it and thinking, yeah, I don't know if I really want them that bad. So I only got strawberries and grapes this time. But these are the Nature Ripe strawberries. Look how pretty they are. Aren't they beautiful? And they're just lovely. And they're really good. And these were, I think they were $1.99. And this is a pound, a pound of strawberries. I mean, they'll be gone by Monday night, but <laughs> for a day, they'll be wonderful. <laughs> My kids will eat every one of these. If I want any, I'm going to have to eat them today because they'll be gone after, after tomorrow. Um, okay. That's most of the noisy stuff. Here's another thing. <coughs> and these, sorry. <coughs> My allergies are bothering me. I'm sorry. These, um, I've bought these before, but not recently. My older son loves these things. They're Pueblo Linda, which is one of the Aldi brands. They're these big flour tortillas. Um, and he eats these just by themselves. It's so crazy. But, um, you get eight of them, and they're really inexpensive. I'm thinking they're only like a dollar 19 or something they're super cheap and they're really good sometimes I'll make burritos for dinner and I will ask him to save a few so I can make burritos with these because they're so big I mean look at that it's gigantic um, so it's the large burrito size but I mainly got them for my older son to have as a snack okay the rest of this is kind of standard stuff this was another request from both of my kids, um, and it's really good. This is Mama Kotze's. This is another Aldi brand, and it's turkey pepperoni. And on the back, see, it's clear, so you can see what it looks like. Um, I like the turkey pepperoni better because it's not quite as greasy. It seems like the, the regular pepperoni made of pork products is um, that's a little bit more greasy than this. We eat these as a snack, like we have, um, I keep cheese cubes in the refrigerator, and they'll have this with some cheese, maybe a cracker or two. Um, so it's just turkey pepperoni, and you, you don't have to put it in the refrigerator until after it's been opened, but once it's been opened, you want to make sure to refrigerate it. It's perforated along the top, and you just pull this off, and then it has a seal, kind of like a Ziploc, so you can seal it back and keep it fresh, which I really like. And um, so they do have this. They have it, um, at least in the Aldi's around here. They keep it where all the spaghetti and uh, pasta is. So if you're looking for it, it's not, it, it may not be where you think it should be. But they keep it with breadcrumbs, pasta, spaghetti, uh, uh, dried 
uh, like instant mashed potatoes, things like that. That's where they keep it in, in the stores here. And let's see, these are for the food drive. This was one of the things that they requested. Individual boxes of raisins. Um, so I got those. These are from Southern Grove, which is another Aldi brand. They make all kinds of things like um, they have peanuts, mixed nuts, uh, dried fruit, trail mix, things like that. And in this package here, um, you get six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Individual boxes of raisins, and they are one ounce each. And I got two of these for the food drive. Um, I already had some in the cabinet. I was going to get some. My younger son likes to take his lunch sometimes to school. Um, but we already had plenty, so I didn't want to... I didn't want to get any for home, so these are just for the food drive. Okay, and this is also something for the food drive here. This, um, I've never actually bought peanut butter at Aldi before. Um, my older son is allergic to peanuts, and my younger son doesn't really care for peanut butter, and I, I do eat it sometimes, but... I haven't eaten it in a while. I kind of get tired of it and I don't want it for a while. But I got this. And um, it's called Peanut Delight. And it is crunchy peanut butter. It is an 18 ounce container. Comes with this blue lid. It says it has 7 grams of protein per serving, which is pretty cool. It's a plastic container. It's not glass. And while I was there, I picked up a container of Peanut Delight Creamy Peanut Butter, which I prefer. I don't really like crunchy peanut butter that much. The creamy peanut butter has a red lid and kind of a red label to it. This is also 18 ounces right here. And it also says that it has 7 grams of protein per serving. So we will put these with the food drive items. They were looking mainly for uh, non-perishable items, um, like peanut butter, raisins, things that would make a good snack and they don't have to be refrigerated. So that's for that. And then, um, this, this is another food drive item. I'm not really sure why I only got one. <laughs> I picked this up. This is, uh, Chef's Cupboard, although you can tell it's supposed to look like a Campbell's Soup label, in my opinion. Chunky Soup, just like the brand name Chunky Soup. I don't really see how they get away with that as far as trademarks go, but I guess they're okay. Chicken Noodle Soup, and see they have a picture up close to show you what it looks like. It has all kinds of vegetables in there, and the noodles and the chicken. This is an 18.6 ounce can of soup. And um, I should have I should have gotten several cans. I kind of want to try it now that I have it. <laughs> See, it has the pull top on it, so you don't have to have a can opener to open it. You can just pull it, and it opens. And this is an Aldi brand, and you basically just heat it up and eat it. You don't have to do anything else. But that's a good size can of soup, and it was it was inexpensive. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it wasn't much at all. So, um, I'm starting to get into that time of year now where I want soup. You know, I don't really like soup in the summertime when it's really hot, but, um, I like it when it starts cooling off. Although, in North Carolina, we're kind of at that weird point in the year where in the morning you feel like you need a jacket. By lunchtime, you're having a heat stroke because it feels like it's 100 degrees outside. Um, I started out in a, a t-shirt and a hoodie this morning and then, oh my goodness, by the time lunch, by the time lunchtime rolled around, it was burning up outside. So I don't know how to dress this time of year. It's really annoying. Um, oh, this is kind of a crinkly thing. Aldi has all kinds of neat candies and uh, little treats like this. These are the Haribo, Ar Haribo Gold Bears, Gummy Bears. Look at those little things. When the sun shines through it, you can't really see it, but I can from my angle. It kind of looks like a stained glass window. Because <laughs> it, it, 
kind of lights up the gummy bears and the light kind of comes through. It's, uh, it's actually kind of cool, but you can't really see it. Sorry, try it sometime. Just get a bag of gummy bears and hold them up to the light. <laughs> you see what I mean? Um, we have multiple flavors in here. We have strawberry, lemon, orange, pineapple, and raspberry. And this bag is five ounces. The original since 1922. And this was only 95 cents or 85 cents. It was less than a dollar for these uh, gummy bears. And I like to keep these around as a snack. It says they were made in Turkey. I thought they were made in Germany, but they were not. Um, so we have a little package of, of gummy bears, which I love. Okay, um, one of my favorite videos on YouTube. I love the Hydraulic Press channel, which is crazy, but I love it. They, they made a video where they squished this giant gummy bear, and for some reason, <laughs> I just crack up every time I see it. They started with little gummy bears, and then they went to this drag. I don't even know where they got it, this huge gummy bear. And they squished it in this hydraulic press, and it's just, look for it sometimes, if, sometime if you just want to look at something funny, something ridiculous to laugh at, the hyd hydraulic press channel. And then they did one where they squished some Lego stuff, and that one's pretty funny too. The like They did these little Lego people. <laughs> like they started with this one little Lego man. <laughs> I laugh at stupid stuff. Um, okay, this is another snack another another uh, treat and as you get closer to the holidays they have more and more German chocolate in there oh it's so good it is so good but they also have Kit Kat and this is a little um, pack it's an eight snack size so you have eight one two three four five six seven eight little Kit Kats in here and they're individually wrapped um, they are 0.49 ounces each. And these are very inexpensive as well. I think this was $1.19 for the eight pack of the Kit Kat little candy bars. And um, usually I have to hide those or they'll eat them all at once. So I, I will usually put them away somewhere. Now this goes with the food drive and I, I have some spaghetti to go with it. And this is my favorite one. This is one of my favorite spaghetti sauces from anywhere, really. This Reggiano, I'm not going to pronounce it right. Reggiano, Reggiano, I don't know. But it's uh, the pasta sauce that's flavored with meat. Um, I can't really tell. I mean, you can't really tell there's any meat in it. But it's really good. I like it. This is a glass, a glass jar. So you have to be careful not to drop it. I did drop one once. In the parking lot it was very embarrassing um 24 ounces and this was only i think it was a dollar 39 but it's really good it's wonderful and they have this brown metal lid on top and they have the seal right here where you know the little bubble pops up when it's been opened so you know if it's sealed or not which is really nice and you can see it has all kinds of vegetables in here and they make you think it's got a T-bone steak in there. There's no T-bone in there, I promise you. But it's really good. And this is another item. And um, this is also for the food drive. And, and they requested individual servings. Um, so they don't have to be refrigerated. Because a lot of people don't have access to refrigeration. So um, they wanted individual containers of things like applesauce or fruit cocktail. You know, little things, like different little things of fruit. So I got this package of um, just original applesauce, which um, it's really good. I've bought this before uh, for my kids for their lunches, and it's it's very good applesauce. Um, let's see, American grown apples, no high fructose corn syrup, one full serving of fruit, and it says it's an excellent source of vitamin C, which is awesome. And it comes in this little paperboard package here. And you get six in here. There's one here, one here, one here, four, five, and six in there. So it's six servings. And again, like everything else, it's it's so it's so affordable. It's so wonderful. And to go with the uh, spaghetti sauce, I got this big box of spaghetti. 
that's going to be way more than you would need with just that one jar of spaghetti sauce but it was it was so inexpensive to get it this way i think it was a dollar 45 and it's two pounds of spaghetti look at that and again this is reggiano or regano i don't which is another Aldi brand. It's the same brand as the spaghetti sauce. And it's an enriched spaghetti product. And there are a bunch of servings in here and they have the cookie instructions on the side if you've never made spaghetti. Um, but I thought it was a really good deal. I thought, you know, this is something, if you don't use it all now, you can, you can put this away and you'll have more for later. You could use it with other other things, um, you know, just depending on whatever you want your spaghetti, want to have with your spaghetti. So it's just a, a big two pound box of spaghetti noodles. So that will go, that will go with the food drive stuff also. Now these are for me. This is some, an oldie but a goodie. This is, this is one I always show you. These are the Southern Grove Mixed Nuts. And... Like I've said in other Aldi hauls, I take these to work and I eat these as a snack in the afternoons a lot. And it keeps me from raiding the vending machine downstairs, which is good. Because um, there's really nothing good in that vending machine. Um, but it, it does have peanuts, but not a bunch. It has less than 50% peanuts. It has peanuts, almonds, cashews, Brazil nuts, and pecans in here. And the way they show it, the picture on the outside, that is literally what it looks like. You know, sometimes you buy these cans of, of, of nuts, and when you open it, it doesn't, doesn't really look like that. But this really does. Now, this is a 14.75 ounce container. And I got two of them. <laughs> um, the containers are bigger than they used to be, um, but the price per ounce has gone down. They used to be smaller. I don't remember. I think they used to be 12 ounces or maybe less than that. Um, they do cost more, but it is a larger container than it was. I think before it was only like that big, but now it's this big. It says it was packaged in the USA. But um, yeah, I take these to work and I eat some of these literally every day at work. And I was running low, so I had to get some. Okay, now this is, this is for the food drive. This is another item that they requested was um, these boxed macaroni and cheese like this. Because again, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. It has a very long shelf life. Uh, my kids actually don't like macaroni and cheese. They really do. They don't. Um, they used to eat it when they were small. But then they both, they both just got to the point that they wouldn't eat it anymore. And my neighbors are out in the yard. Sorry. I heard a commercial for O'Reilly's Auto Parts. I'm going, what? I literally have no idea what that... I don't know if that was somebody's radio or what. Um, anyway. Now, my kids don't like macaroni and cheese. They used to eat it when they were toddlers. And then they both just hit a point somewhere along the way where they didn't want it anymore. I have no idea why. So we never make this here because they don't, they don't like it. And I honestly, no, I'm not a big fan of it either. I mean, I'll eat it, but I don't want it very often. I definitely don't like it reheated. It's not good reheated. Um, but these are the shells and cheese, kind of like Velveeta. Now I have not tried this. This is Cheese Club, which has, it's an Aldi brand. And I've never noticed this one. But it has the double money back guarantee like all Aldi products. If you don't like it, they'll give you your money back and buy, they will replace it with a comparable item, which is really cool. This is a 12 ounce box and it contains the packet of cheese. It's not the cheese powder. It's like just the, it's like, um, like a melted cheese kind of thing. Um, so this is good. This would make a little meal for someone. And this is also for the food drive right here. And I have had this and it's good. This is Millville granola. Now this is also an Aldi brand. Fruit and nut, whole grain granola with real fruit and nuts. Bakery fresh taste. And it is really good. Um, 
Every now and then I'll go through a spell where I'll take something like this. I'll put some in a little baggie, like a Ziploc bag. I'll take it to work for a snack. This is a, a 16 ounce, it's a one pound box. A fruit and nut granola, and it has real fruit and nuts in it. It says, make a great tasting breakfast. A delicious start of a perfect day with Millville fruit and nut whole grain granola cereal. We start with whole grain oats and wheat and mix in raisins, dates, coconuts, and real almonds for a taste you're sure to love. We finish with a kiss of golden honey for just a hint of sweetness. By the bowlful or by the handful, make Millville a part of your life's adventure every day. So, I mean, you can have it as a cereal, you could put it in yogurt. A lot of times I would just take some plain Greek yogurt and mix in a little bit of that with it. It's really good. Um, you can use it as a topping for something. I mean, it's, it's great. So, we have a box of that. And they have different flavors. I mean, if you like different types of granola, they have other flavors. The fruit in that is the one I like the best. So, I picked that for the food drive. And this is just for here. Because I buy terrible food for my kids. We have Frosted Flakes. And these are great. These are so great and they're so cheap. Um... A lot of times my kids have both gotten to where they like to eat breakfast before they leave in the mornings for school. Sometimes they eat breakfast at school, which is fine too. I mean, um, but some mornings they just want to eat as soon as they get up. So I try to keep a good variety of stuff for them to have. And these are This is Millville again, just like the granola. It's a good source of vitamin D. And that's really about all you can say about it that's good. But, um... It's just Frosted Flakes. It's very basic, very simple. It's a 17-ounce box. Look at that big old barcode. <laughs> if you'll notice, they have one here, big one here, big one here, one up here, and there's one down here. So they can scan things very quickly. They don't have to spend any time looking for the barcode. Literally, the only place they don't have a barcode is on the very front the part of the box that will show when it's out for sale, when it's up on display. It's the only surface that doesn't have a barcode. We got 17 ounces, and that, I think I think they were $1.65. I think that box was $1.65, which if you've bought any cereal lately, you know, it's really good. And we have the toaster tarts. Yes, we do. Um... I actually bought some regular Pop-Tarts at Walmart this morning. They had these limited edition Halloween Pop-Tarts. They were chocolate fudge. And then they had little different pictures on each Pop-Tart. Like they had ghosts or a witch or something like that. I bought a box of those just to be different. But I also got some of these. These are just strawberry toaster tarts from Aldi. And you get 12 pastries in here, as always. There are six packets in here. Each packet has two toaster tarts inside. And both of my kids like these. My younger son doesn't eat them as often. He'll eat a Pop-Tart maybe once a week. He'll eat one. But my older son, I have to get on to him not to eat so many. Um, but they're frosted strawberry. And I can't really tell the difference between these and the Pop-Tart brand. But to me, they taste the same. But I'm not a big Pop-Tart fan. I'm not a big pastry fan in general. Um, but I know a lot of people like them. I just don't, typically. Now this is also, this is another item for the food drive. This is um, Benton's, which is another Aldi brand. I love their vanilla wafers. They're so good. Um, these are breakfast biscuits. Now I've had breakfast biscuits before, like a little cookie kind of thing. Um, but not this brand. I got the blueberry flavor because when I do buy breast breakfast biscuits, I usually get blueberry. Um, it provides energy that helps you to enjoy your day and has 19 grams of whole grain per serving. You can see it has sort of like the imprint of a wheat stalk on there. But they are individually wrapped and I think you get two, you probably get two per packet if it's like the ones I buy. Oh, no, no, four. 
A serving size is four biscuits, and there are five containers of four. Okay. They must be really thin. They do look kind of thin. So um, these are a good way. These are really filling. If you have one, if you have some you know, first thing in the morning, they're very filling. Um, but when I have them, I, I don't normally get hungry again for quite a while. So that would be a good thing. I think, and, and don't have to refrigerate it, and you know, it'll last forever on the shelf in your kitchen. And but it'd be a good snack for somebody. And then, of course, like always, I had to get the Millville Frosted Shredded Wheat Blueberry Flavor. Uh, my kids love these, and they are very good. I actually prefer these blueberry ones to these shredded wheat, uh, the brand name Shredded Wheat. I think they're better. I really think they taste better. They have more of a blueberry taste to them, in my opinion. But this is a 16 ounce box of the uh, Millville, again, shredded wheat blueberry cereal. And they're bite size. And they're really good. So, um, that's, I show you that all the time. I told you I buy a lot of this stuff over and over. I'm like a broken record. Just like the bacon. I didn't actually need it right now, but sometimes when I go in there, I don't think about it because it's, it's, um, items like this are kind of on an end cap and sometimes I'll go right by there and not even think about getting any. So I will go ahead and grab it. Sometimes I'll get extra so, because sometimes I forget to get any, so I'll buy a little bit more. This is fully cooked bacon and it has smoke flavoring added to it. Now it's only a 2.1 ounce package, but you do get 12 big slices of bacon in here. Um, and they're, they're really big. You can't really see it, but they, they run the whole length of the package. They're really big. Um, and we use this for snacks. I take it to work sometimes. Um, and I'll make sandwiches out of it. Um, but it's from Appleton's Farms, which is another Aldi brand. And I got those for me, for us. Now this is for the food drive here. This is, um, and this is really good. I've had this too. This is Millville again. Uh, it is crunchy granola raisin bran. And it has little, little nuggets of granola in here along with the flakes and the raisins. So you have your bran cereal. You have the granola clusters and really plump juicy raisins. Uh, it's really, really good. It's 18.2 ounces. It's it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's it's a good size box. Um, this would fill you up. This would you know it's good for you. Um, keep you from getting hungry again right away. And it's I just think it's a good choice for for anyone, whether you're buying it for yourself or buying it for a food drive. For other people, I think it's it's a really good cereal. It says it has delicious crisp flakes and a crunchy granola clusters with juicy raisins. And it literally does look like the picture on the box. It really does. And to go along with that, because um, some people don't like the granola clusters, I also got just plain Millville Raisin Bran. Um, this actually has more fiber than the other one does, so if you're um, concerned about fiber, um, this actually has more. You can see it's just the bran flakes with the raisins. Now these raisins are a little bit different. The raisins in the regular raisin bran do have a little bit of a sugar coating on them, um, which is okay. I mean, it's not a lot, but it does have a little bit in the other, um, the one, the kind with the granola clusters. I don't think it has that. I think they're just plain raisins. But this box is a little bit heavier. This one is 20 ounces. And it says it has 28 grams of whole grain and fiber, bursting with raisins, and it's good for your heart health. So they had on the list that they wanted high fiber cereals, not like, you know, chocolate frosted sugar bombs or anything like that. So that's what I got for that. And this is also for the food drive. Um, and this is from Chef's Cupboard, just like the soup. They asked for um, dried products like um, oatmeal or mashed potatoes, noodles, things like that. Because again, these keep for a long time on the shelf. So if you don't need them right away, 
they'll be good for later if you want to just put them away for you know to have something later so we have chef's covered mashed potatoes they're made with 100% real Idaho potatoes and it's a 15.3 ounce box and all you have to add is uh, you add milk and butter and they're light and fluffy and beautiful so this would be good um, a lot of times I will use I will use uh, mashed potato flakes in recipes I've used it in um, I've used it in meatloaf I've used it in beef stew it's really good in beef stew all kinds of different recipes if you want to add a little bit of a thickness to the consistency of whatever you're making um, these can come in handy for that so this is for the food drive also because I actually have quite a bit of I have mashed potatoes already and this was something that my younger son requested this is um and I think I've shown you this before this is another Aldi brand nature's nectar 100% juice and it is white grape juice um, it's a 64 ounce bottle and I think it's I think these are 239 and it's really good grape juice it's it's wonderful and I like it because it's not the dark grape juice that stains everything it's clear but it tastes the same and so he asked me if I would get some more of this white grape juice because he really likes it so I brought I brought that home for him and these two things are for the food drive also along the same lines as the mashed potatoes um, and I imagine they don't have these in every Aldi but because we're in the south we have grits I love grits love them but I have I already have some actually I have a container just like this in the in the cabinet right now um, they're the quick grits I like these better than the instant grits you have quick grits which cook in five minutes they have to boil a little bit longer but to me they taste a lot better the instant grits cook in one minute and they just don't taste as good to me these are smooth and creamy um, and if you wonder what grits are it's hominy h-o-m-i-n-y which they have on here which is a type of corn that they'll dry and then they grind it up and that's basically it I mean that it's enriched so I think they must add something like you know white bread or whatever they'll add some select vitamins or minerals to it um, but this is a 24 ounce canister you see and you can open this and seal it back you put the lid on here and it stays good for a really long time if you don't eat it all right away which you won't I mean that's a lot of grits that's a bunch of servings right there but it's very easy you just boil it with some water you don't have to add anything to it if you don't want to a lot of times when I eat grits I just add a little bit of salt and that's it I mean, I, I like it just with salt. I think they're good just by themselves. Um, so you can get a lot of meals out of this. And it will definitely fill you up. So um, that's for the food drive. And so is this. We have a huge container of 100% whole grain, old-fashioned rolled oats. This was another thing that they asked for. Um, they asked for oatmeal, uh, cream of wheat, stuff like that. So I have this 42 ounce, 2 pounds, 10 ounces, 42 ounce container of oats. So you can make oatmeal, or you can use it in recipes, you know, whatever you want to do with it. And again, just like the grits, we have this lid on top. So, I mean, obviously, I, I seriously doubt you're going to make all this at once. Slap the lid back on there, stick it back in the cabinet, and it's ready to go again next time. And it takes a really long time for this stuff to go bad. I promise. It's good for basically forever. Um, so I got a big container of that. And I'm thinking it was only like $2.49 for that big container. It's a wonderful deal. Now this is for this is for us again. <laughs> These are toaster tarts. Um, and the list did ask to not include sugary. Uh, things like this so I'm not just being I'm, I'm I tried to stick to the list of what they wanted for the food drive and they they specifically said please don't send uh, stuff like this so this is for my kids because I feed them stuff that I shouldn't uh, this is Millville toaster tarts the brown sugar the frosted brown sugar and cinnamon flavor and this is a 22 ounce box so it's kind of heavy 
And again, you get 12 pastries, six packets in here, little silver packets, and you get two in each packet. And the best thing they can find to say about it is it has zero grams of trans fat and no cholesterol. Pretty much any time you pick up a food item and they, they boast about having no trans fat, it's pretty bad for you. If they're going to brag about that, it's usually pretty bad. But anyway, we have toaster tarts. I only bought these two boxes at Aldi today. And one last item. And that is for us because we've been out of pickles forever and I keep forgetting to buy more. Um, these are great gherkins get right there. That is another Aldi brand. These are hamburger deal pickle chips. And I was kind of thinking about making hamburgers tonight so I can use these with the hamburgers. It's a pretty good size package. You get um, a, a jar. It's 32 ounces. And of course a lot of that is the juice, but you know, there's a lot. Look at all these pickles and look how big they are. They're gigantic. Big old pickles. Um, and sometimes I'll get a fork and I'll just eat some of these right out of the jar just by themselves. They're really good. Um, so if we do have hamburgers tonight, I'll have pickles to go with them because I've been out for about two months. I keep forgetting to put them on the list. And on my way out the door, I picked up this. Now this is the Aldi Insider. This is where they show you things that are coming up. And it looks like they're going to have a lot of different types of cleaning products. Like they have this vacuum here. Um, oh, it's an Easy Home Bagless Upright Vacuum for $39.99. And then they have the Easy Home Hamper. Uh... And it turns into a little carrying bag. That's really cool. It's like a little tote. That's $7.99. That's really nice. And they have a rechargeable cordless sweeper, which I've actually been thinking about getting one of those. That is $19.99 for that. We're just glancing through here. And see they have um, stacking bins for $4.99. And look at this. I really like this. Look at that. That is a Crofton 4.6 quart cast iron French oven. That's really cool. That is $24.99. Or you could get the Crofton 1.75 quart cast iron saucepan with a lid for $14.99. And you can get a cast iron skillet for $14.99. That's really nice. And then they have other things, like I just bought this. I bought some of the Happy Farms shredded cheese. It's a gigantic bag. Uh, it's 12 ounces, and it's $2.69, which is a really good deal, deal for that. And they have these Little Journey children's toilet seats or step stools for $4.99. I've definitely had those in my house. Not anymore, but oh yeah. <laughs> and oh! They have a, a Dream Baby Toddler Bed Rail right there. That is $17.99. So, I mean, they have... Oh, look at this. They have the Huntington Home Twin or Full Gel Memory Fiber Topper to go on your mattress. Um, and they are $39.99 for that. That's a nice deal. So, it looks like they have some good stuff coming up. But that is... Everything except the refrigerated stuff that I bought at Aldi earlier today. And I'm going to go through and sort it. And um, I, ha I have some, I bought some paper bags also to put the uh, food drive stuff in. So I can go ahead and put them in the paper bags and put them in my car so I don't forget them in the morning. But I want to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again really soon. And I hope you have a good day.